What's going on guys, MultiGuildsHD here, as most of you guys probably already know. So guys, in this video today, I'm going to do this strictly my own personal opinions of what is going on with the COD cycle in this video today. This is going to be a one take, I'm not going to edit any of this because I don't want you guys to think that I'm censoring myself at all. I think that this needs to be definitely talked about because there's a lot of people going on Twitter and going about it in the wrong way. So let's go ahead and start off with Infinite Warfare, alright? So, Infinite Warfare is scheduled for 2016. It's going to be coming out later this year. And right now, if you guys look at the Call of Duty dislikes to likes, it's getting very close to 50-50. If not by tonight, it will be tomorrow where Infinite Warfare's trailer, the reveal trailer, will have more dislikes than likes. And I think you guys are on the right path by showing your guys' you know, opinions and feedbacks by all means. And I think it's great that we're speaking up finally because, honestly, I'm tired of playing... The Halo games that Call of Duty has become. It's become Destiny with a new Infinite Warfare. The trailer looks like it was a 2007 montage for a Call of Duty sniper. And honestly, it looks honestly absolutely trash. So with that being said, I think you guys need to understand what the idea was between the three year COD cycles. So we originally had Treyarch in Affinity Ward. That's how it was back in the day. Every year they would come out with a new Call of Duty, so they have two years of build time. So one year it would be Infinity Ward, then next year it would be released by Treyarch. And that worked for a good couple years, at least four to five of my knowledge, that it worked. And that was a cycle. We'd have Modern Warfare 2, and then we'd have Black Ops by Treyarch. So that was the goal, that was the cycle, and it went over good. And now here is the reason why it went over good. If the community really stuck behind something, we could have it changed within a year and a half to two years. If something in the game came out bad and people reacted to it bad, we instantly could change it. Now the problem was, I'm pretty sure Bird just hit my window, but the problem is right now we're in a three year COD cycle. So let's say this year with Infinite Warfare, everything is going terrible just like it is scheduled to look terrible like it is this year so far. It is going awful. The dislikes are higher. They had Twitch chat yesterday during the reveal trailer for Infinite Warfare was spammed with COD 4. We don't care about Infinite Warfare. Just show us COD 4. We can't buy COD 4 by itself. We have to buy Infinite Warfare just to even get the game that we all want. And it's games like this that are going to kill Call of Duty. I'm very passionate about this. I've been a YouTube commentator for Call of Duty since Call of Duty 2. I've been here since the Call of Duty 4 days with Syndicate and Wings of Redemption. I've been here through Modern Warfare 2 with all the Javelin glitches and new tube glitches. And the thing that really makes me mad is that we are all screaming at the top of our lungs all through social media that we just want Call of Duty 4 standalone. We don't care about Infinite Warfare. You know, there is a slight, slight majority of the population that was going to love Infinite Warfare. And good on them because, you know, there's nothing wrong with Infinite Warfare. It just isn't Call of Duty like everybody is saying. But when we go on and we make these so clear what we want, our actions aren't being shown. We've done this in Call of Duty Ghost. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. We've done this in Black Ops 3, which wasn't as bad, but it was still pretty bad with all the EXO, the running, Jetpacks, whatever you want to call them, we don't want that, and I think it's very key that we get boots on the ground combat. That is what we've been wanting for the last three years, and we just keep going to Destiny Halo modes, which is really upsetting because there's eventually going to hit a point where you're just going to become a next Halo game, or you're just going to become the next Destiny. We're so far in advance, I think it's supposed to be somewhere in the range of 2065 the next Call of Duty is supposed to be themed in, at least. I just don't know. I just don't think that they're listening, but the biggest problem is I see everybody on Twitter complaining that they should just release COD 4. That is what I think that they should do. It would be the wisest decision they could do, but you have to understand that investors are going to be the people that are deciding which direction they go in Call of Duty. We had this a couple of years ago when Call of Duty Ghost came out. All the pro players in the esports wanted to go back to Black Ops 2. They wanted Black Ops 2 to be the main game for the focus of that year so that we could all have tournaments on Black Ops 2. The thing is, is when you have the developer giving all the money for all these tournaments, they can really pull the, the strings. They can hold, well, you guys aren't going to be able to use our footage on any live streams. They can pull that card. They can pull that we're just not going to fund the tournaments. And they've been doing this game over and over and over again. So we either need to find a mutual way to host these tournaments by somebody inside the community, whether it be online or something along those lines. 
But this year, I could see Infinite Warfare being forced, all the pro players, all the people that look up to the pro players, and we're going to be sitting there watching Infinite Warfare tournaments for a year. And the problem with this is, we're three years away from them being able to make a change. Whether that change started at the beginning of this year, whether it started last year, it doesn't matter. We're still a year or two years out for the next Call of Duty being good. So, here we go, I'll go ahead and recap it. The production cycle is three years, so no matter what we do for the next Call of Duty that is going to come out next year, during 2017, the damage is probably already done there too. So we're probably going to be even further advanced in Warfare, or whatever we're going to call it at the point. So, my problem is, these cycles of three years are killing the game. It needs to go back to two year cycles, where they have one year to develop, one year to fix everything. That's how it should go, personally, because it's a really scary thought that... The damages in the Infinite Warfare and everybody's outcry right now saying how bad it is. We shouldn't be forced to do Call of Duty 4 because we had to buy Infinite Warfare to even get on the game that everybody wants, Call of Duty 4 Remastered. I totally agree with, and honestly, it's ridiculous, and it shouldn't be this way. If you want Call of Duty 4, you should be able to buy just Call of Duty 4. If you want to try both, you should be able to buy both. It shouldn't be forced upon us. Now, the tournaments this year, Esports, Call of Duty World League... It's going to be very interesting to see what happens because now we have two Call of Duties. All the pros are going to be wanting to play on one game if they don't already just stay on the one game and just do YouTube instead of tournaments this year, which I could definitely see the Call of Duty blackout of esports this year. I don't know. Maybe this might be the COD killer. I really think that the direction of them just completely ignoring us, but the damage, guys, has already been done for three years. We're starting the first year, so now it's going to take probably three years to change. Which, who knows at this point, where three years in the future could be. Is Call of Duty even going to be a game by then? Is esports even going to exist in Call of Duty? Are people even going to start buying Call of Duties if this just continues to be the same trend where we're forced to do things we don't want, pro players are getting forced to play certain games, and we're just getting forced by what they want us to do. And I think it's finally that time in the community where everybody's starting to stand up for it and I think that this is going to cause a change but how long is it going to take for the change to happen? Is it going to take years and years and years before we finally get what we want? Or maybe they're just still just going to keep playing games and never listen. Let me hear you guys' feedback in the comment section below because guys this is a huge issue all over social media and we're still just getting ignored. We're not getting a comment, we're not getting any hope, we're just getting totally denied. But until next time, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of a rant, but it just needed to be said. But anyways, I'm Multikills HD. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Multikills HD, and I'm out. Peace.